with students back on college campuses, you really have to worry about more than just those new classes. So this time of year, beginning of school is a period called the red zone. That's when sexual assaults on campus really take a spike. Natisha Lane shows us how colleges and universities in Georgia are fighting to stop it. Amid the buzz and excitement of moving in and starting college, there's a hidden danger. There's documented nationally that there's up to a 50% increase in campus sexual assault. Every year, Dr. Jill Lee Barber makes it her mission to help prevent Georgia State University from reaching that national statistic. Ads like this one are run on screens all across GSU's campus. The time period for the red zone is debatable. Some experts, like Dr. Barber, define it as the first six weeks of school, while others put it between August and November. Our numbers start to increase in August, and that that continues through November. ACC SANE provides forensic medical services to survivors of sexual assault in 10 counties. One of them houses UGA. When it opened in 2005, it was only the second center of its kind in the country. Our medical providers are some of the first people to hit the reset button for a survivor. Just this week, UGA school paper, The Red and Black, published a column on the red zone. It reports an on-campus organization is asking the school to fully address and educate students on the red zone. So we need to be having these conversations in our homes. We need to be having these conversations in K through 12. And this needs to be information that's repeated over and over again. Only 24 states and the District of Columbia mandate sex ed classes. Of those, only eight require a mention of consent. Georgia is not one of them. Sexual assaults are not committed by a stranger coming out from behind a dark alley. And when we think about the red zone, most of these actually happen by people that are known to the victim. Now, it's important to note if a victim of sexual assault is given a sexual assault exam, it doesn't mean that they have to report that to law enforcement. They were saying that sometimes that can prevent somebody from coming in to get that exam. If they think it's going to go straight mm -hmm. to law enforcement. Exactly. All right, but when you think of that time period, though, and with the name the red zone, the first thing that comes to mind right. is football. Mm -hmm. Any correlation with that? You know, there is some research that shows on game day, there's a 41% increase with oh. sexual assault and on game. Sorry, that's game days that are at home yeah. and game days that are away. It's 15% that goes up. So it's an important conversation to continue to have, especially if you have parents who, or kids who are in school, if you're parents and you have kids who are in school going off to college, but just continuing that conversation over and over again. It's a lot to think about. Thank you, Natisha. You bet. All right. Thanks.